please, City of Alaska. Yes, sir. Um, these are proposed text amendments to the LDR that affect several chapters. Um, this is sort of a, a lot of these are housekeeping items. It's sort of an uh, interesting mixture of chapters and topics, but they are broken into several groups in your packet. I think there are six groups based on topic. Um, the first one is items that we need to put in the LDR to maintain compliance with our statewide water permit, or state issued water permit. The second one, is the adoption of anomalous codes. These would be the International Building Code, Life Safety Code, and so forth. The proposal here from staff is to simplify this listing and not be repetitive. Um, basically, we follow all of the state of Georgia adopted codes, which follows those for most of the rest of the country. And then group number three has to do with zoning procedures. This is to clarify language as to what parts of the LDR um, if they get amended, if they are required to come through the planning commission for recommendation or not. Under the zoning procedures law, if there is portions or things to be changed within what they term as the zoning ordinance or the zoning regulations of the community, um, those have to come through a local planning commission if there is one. You folks, um, that is Title II of the LDR. Um, Title III has other things, uh, more standards and spec subdivision related. And Title I, Normally would be exempt from that, but also includes the definition section for the entire LPR. So the language here is if it is in Title I or Title II, it needs to come through you all for recommendation. If it's in Title III, it's optional. Number four is transitional buffers. This is undoing an amendment that was adopted back in 2015. It was a provision that when taken literally, it is a buffer next to a buffer or buffering a buffer yard. It seems kind of silly to say that, but that's one in effect it did. Um, the requirement as proposed is to require a five foot separation between primary buildings and a buffer yard, but nothing else. Currently that five foot separation applies to all buildings and all pavement areas, including driveways and park lots and walkways, which seems unnecessary. So the proposal is to take that back out. Number five is building height in downtown Valdosta. For decades, there was no prescribed building height in downtown. And uh, for reasons that I cannot find in the record for my time, in 2009, there was an amendment to the LDR as a part of a batch of amendments that slipped in this eight foot height requirement. I reviewed the record from 09, the minutes of Planning Commission and City Council. There was no discussion about it, so I'm not sure where it came from. Um, Personally, and I think planning-wise, we are a metropolitan community. If we're going to have tall buildings, that should include our downtown area, um, as most cities larger than us currently have. And so there is no height restriction to them. Uh, one thing to note, uh, which I think is a good thing, is the downtown area is part of our local historic district. The historic district uh, guidelines that are governed by the Historic Preservation Commission include a review criteria that pertains to building massing and building size. So if a development were to come into downtown Valdosta that is inappropriately out of scale with its surroundings, that's something that the Historic Preservation Commission can take into consideration. So it gets addressed that way rather than straight up zoning regs. Uh, we currently have um, two buildings in downtown that are over 100 feet tall, and I think that's just fine. Amendment number six is drive through facilities. That is to simplify language there and also relax the standard a little bit. Um, currently, for a drive through restaurant, you have to have six stacking spaces. You start counting those at the order board, not the pickup window. Um, as you all travel around town, not all drive through restaurants are the same. In some cases, you order at the little order box. There are two cars in front of you to the pickup window. In other cases, there may be eight cars in front of you. No restaurants operate the same. So the plan here is to simplify that and start the counting of six spaces at the pickup window. And also clarify for non-restaurant uses um, that they were required to have three. Um, the city has had several variance requests from other uses, particularly pharmacies, which under the old rules were required to have six stacking spaces. And nowhere could we find a pharmacy that needed that and they all receive their variances for either four or three spaces. So hence, by the code change, they're going to require to have three. Uh, we think this will work. 
as presented. Um, if not, and there turns out to be some problems with this, you can always amend the code again in the future. Those are the six amendments. And staff is recommending approval of all of them as presented. Any questions for staff? Questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of these amendments? Anyone here tonight wishing to speak against these amendments? There being none, any discussion about the commissioners? There being none, I will take a motion on this. Commissioner Wiles? We have a motion to approve. We have a second. Any discussion? All in favor, say by raise your right hand. <laughs> Thank you very much. Passes, Mr. Cormell. On the way out. <laughs> <laughs>